It's another <laughs> blindfold challenge, another blindfold challenge, another blindfold, blindfold challenge. challenge. I am blindfolded for your entertainment. Mind you don't trip over these pedal boards. No, okay, well, there's a little gap between the pedal boards. It's like a sort of an Indiana Jones movie where if you tread on the wrong bit, the floor opens up and we crash through. Miriam. Oh, there you go. Just got to get lapeled up. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Put it in my hole. I like your t-shirt. I need to get a free t-shirt from Ernie Ball. Ah, it's a great Brewster. logo. It's great, a great family. Logo. Anyway. Great coffee. Thank you, uh, Guide Dogs for the Blind, everyone. Danish Peak Dogs for the Blind. Great charity. Um, right. Hey, Rob. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Wait, uh, five me. Oh. Uh, so, today's blindfold mission, should you choose to accept it, conga a bit from the movie. Um, is a guess the pickup challenge. So I have behind me and to the side of me a selection of single coil pickups. Or do I? Um, and they're on various guitars and they're all slight variants of a theme. Guitars? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, you probably can't read my scrawled writing here, can you, Potato? Uh, so you can see here, we've got all kinds of single coil pickups on all sorts of kinds of guitars. And I thought we'd go through and just test Robert's knowledge um, as to just, you know, can he guess what we've got? Um, I'm going to use, I've set up a clean amplifier with everything on 12 for a clean sound. I've got a mild distortion pedal and a heavier distortion pedal. Obviously, Rob can't play these because he will instantly know, you know, what the guitar is from, or certainly have a good idea anyway. So I'm going to play, he's going to listen. You can tell me what chords to play, anything you like, Rob. Can we start with, am I facing a camera? <laughs> I would say you're probably looking slightly to the left. To the left, okay. Is that better? Do, would it, should we have like a, a better, what about if Tate stands behind the main camera and goes like, hello, and then you'll be able to focus in. I think you're looking pretty much at it, aren't you? Yeah, you're okay. looking at it. Okay. Because everyone's waiting for me to sit down and face the wrong way, and I don't, they're and, not going to get that. And we've not got your goggly eyes on your goggles, so you no. look cool. Or have we? Right. Are you ready for your first G chord? I was born ready, Lee! Here we go. <laughs> Am I allowed to ask for different pickup Absolutely. Oh, could I have, if there is, an in-between sound? Uh, that sounded like it was neck back one. Could I have, so I don't know which way you count. Well, I, I'm no, I'm, because of the guitars that I've got here, you can have either the neck pickup or the bridge pick or pick up, or pick up, or, pick up uh, or an in between setting of my choice. Oh, I see. Because otherwise, it gives away whether the guitar's got three pickups right, or two. All right, can I have a mild, crunchy type vibe? On which pickup, bridge? Oh, or... the in between sound, please. Oh, on the in between yeah, sound. Okay. Sounds really good. Um, I'm gonna say it's a. I'm gonna say it's a, a strat. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say it is a strat. A strat. Yes. Okay. Um, sounds expensive. Sounds like an expensive strat. Right. Let me just write that down. Because it's warm, board. or it was warmer than I thought it would be. It had the cluck on the in-betweeny sound, but not as much cluckety cluck as I was expecting there to be. Uh, it re retained the fat warmth. <sighs> Gotta love it when you retain the fat warmth. Yes, that's right. Uh, okay, <laughs> so that was guitar number one. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, crash. Let's put the tuner on. And guitar number two is this one here. Let's see what happens. Same again. Wait, Same could, you, could you take the jack out and insert the jack again? Nope. Uh, oh, here we go.
Again, can I have an in-between sound, please? So nice. Can I have a, a crunchy thing? Of course. Do you have a plimsoll on the floor? I do. Could you have it and then put it in the bridge? More? The, no, no, it's the, it's the neck symbol. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like a a much more expensive version of the previous guitar. Um, it, it's like a really warm, rich, crystal clean, creamy sounding <laughs> strat. Okay, <laughs> right, hold on. <laughs> Let me summarise that. So more expensive Well, I can hear more version. clarity and sort of, there's that kind of, particularly in the in-between sound, there was more, more uh, harmonic richness. More harmonic. But like a staggering amount more. So Richness, still a strat. Though, yes, it's a strat. You can hear it's a strat. It's just more expensive version of the first one. I think I'll remember what I mean by that. Okay. What, um, what I mean, what I mean is, they were both strats. The first one sounded good, and then the second one sounded really good. So what I'm saying is, I think probably the first one was less expensive than I thought, and I think this next one was probably a lot more expensive. Okay. Uh, the third one is this. Um... <laughs> Swing sound. You can. It's absolutely not single chords, it's humbuckers, and um, it's, uh, it's a tapped out set of humbuckers. I'd go as far as to say it's a Lester Pablo. It's a tapped out set of buckers, buckers. on a Les Paul. It's a Leslie Paolo. Right. I, 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 I could hear Mary going, this is Mary speaking. <laughs> Mary thank, who? Thank, Ford, thank you for watching <laughs> our, our television show back in the 50s. That was a Les Paul. Right. Guitar numero quattro. Susie. Susie, yeah. Here we go, again. Uh, one sound. <laughs> it up buddy okay <laughs> apps 
absolutely beautiful sound. It's my favourite sound so far. I, I, There's I'm only guessing, one pickup you've heard so far. Yeah, yeah, but it's just beautiful. Okay. Can you put it on a neck position? That was the oh, neck position. Interesting. They've all been. I've kind of all started them all on the neck position. By could you default. put it in a in a uh, in between sound then? Of course, sound. with clean or crunch. Ah, uh, with the crunch. <laughs> And then don't play anything. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, I, I, ca I, I feel the need that I should remind you that I'm still on an in-between setting at the moment. Oh, put it, put it on, on a sink on the I'm neck. I'm sorry if that's like giving anything away, but I feel bad. So put it on what? Neck. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, I think it's P90s. I think it's a fat set of P90s, or it's, it's like a really high-powered single type thing. Sounds great. Whatever that is, best sounding thing so far. Okay, let me just, uh, so we're going. I'd like to play this one. So we're going high powered, uh, high <coughs> power P90. Yeah. Uh, best sounding one so far. Yeah. yeah. Best sounding. Like one of those, it sounds like one of those, so one of those like P90 powered, far. dirty Freemans or something. Right. What is next on my list? Oof. Let's get this one. What, what's your back, Lee? I will. It's not my back. I'm worried it about. Sounds like it's a heavy instrument. Oh. And the guitar sounds heavy too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here we go. I mean, it sounds like a slightly more spanky type stratty telly thing it so could be what i need is a crunch and then an in between okay crunch first still on the neck pickup <laughs> tuning pedal yes could you use that and then give me some neck again uh, neck no. and crunch yep. here we go It sounds like, <laughs> this is going to be a really weird description for you, sounds like a castrated Stratocaster. <laughs> it sounds like a Strat that's had some of, some of the balls removed. Wow. Yeah. Well, topical. So let's pop this back <laughs> and write down, sounds like a castrated Strat. That is my favourite description of a guitar in here. Well, castrated Strat in a bad way or just in a, in a, well, in a sort of a... Well, not in a good way. I think not it, in a good I, way. Well, if Sounds I owned that guitar, I'd be looking to raise the pickups, like put 11s on it, detune it, and, and run it on, on a much hotter amplifier. But it just strat. sounds like a lot of the low end is missing. Yeah. I mean, in all fairness, if anybody who had any guitar would, of course, adjust the amplifier and the pedals to taste. And we've sort of intentionally just using the same sound yeah it just it had it, you know. a lot of the low frequencies seem it was like it was shelved okay you get, you get my you're saying things i totally get what you're saying and just get my plectrum and uh, here we go with a clean neck sounding pickup <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Please, could you put it in a middle position and, add, and, and clean and then add the crunch? Yes, of course. <laughs> Could you add some high gain to that middle pickup position? Bridget, buddy. unique and um, it's a really interestingly voiced sound it's single coils very very different very vocal very yeah very very human voicey and I really like them but I've got no idea what they are unique uh, human voice really rich like rich. thick and midi and rich single coils thick thick and rich like uh, Bisto, like uh, the royal family. Oh no, don't say that. I like the royal family. Thick and rich. That bangos my knighthood. <laughs> uh, thick and rich single coils. I can't remember what else you said. I've got unique human voice, rich single coil. Yeah, just that, that's enough, nothing ever really sounds like that. I, I mean, unless it was. Um, oh, that's really good. Really nice. Last one. Last, last one coming up for your aural delight. Oh. Did anyone tune this one? Let's find out. Play it, I'll, I'll tell you if it's tuned. <laughs> Just like it sounds just like a set of humbuckers or something. Can you is it put it in the middle position for me? Yeah, well you call it however you hear it, Rob. <laughs> So it's a set of P90s, but the, the neck is really fat, which really put me off. It, it almost sounds like a humbucker. It's like a P90 that's so fat, it almost removes the point of it being a P90. In the in-between sound, it was really nice. The bridge was a bit too bright. Then, so the bridge is a bit too bright. The neck is a bit too fat. In-between, it's just right. It's a fat P90 on the neck. Oh, I can't be bothered to write all that down. You're just going to put down you thought it was P90s. Yes. Fine. Pinties. Well, there we go. I mean, shall we just allow Rob to remove his blindfold? That is the end of our uh, Can You Guess the Pickup Challenge. Ready? Yes. P. Do you want, you, you want glasses, your glasses, please? don't you? Oh, well, 
Unsurprisingly, Monsieur Chapman, your ears, yet again, have been largely spot on. Oh, was that the, the, um, that was the That was the Pacific hum. That was the, uh, that's the Titanic to, to greet me. Yeah. Iceberg ahead! <laughs> that was that actually was, a uh, lead coming out of Anderson's my pedal. Anderson's practising its harp weaponry. Um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank well, you. Well, what can I say, really, other than... OK, so we had a mix of guitars here, from guitars that would cost you around about 400 quid through to guitars that would cost you about 2,000 quid. Most of them, actually, were at the cheaper end. So, the very first one was ye old, good old-fashioned, Squire classic vibe, the 50s sort of flavour one, which has your traditional Alnico 3 single coil sounds. Probably of all the guitars that we had here, would have been the one that was closest to just sounding like a strap. Oh, you go to that side. Here it is. Um, so, in fact, uh, you said, in I your said exact it, words, sounds a... like an expensive strat. Well, so there you, you go. So you Once were, again. Yes, you were almost correct, as it is, in fact, an inexpensive strat. Well, you could sell it to me for more money, then it would be expensive. So. That's true. Everything's relative, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, well done. The Thank you. Second one. Oh, I didn't hear that it had plastic on the pickups though. So you couldn't hear the plastic on the no, pickups. Minus no, minus pickups. Yeah, minus points. So the second one is kind of, I suppose, GNL's um, Strat. souped up. Well, not quite, because they do a Legacy, which has the same kind of set of Alnico pickups in them, or not the same, but similar. So this is the S500, which is effectively. Um, this was the guitar that Leo kind of originally designed uh, in 1980 or whatever to be his evolution of the Strat. It wasn't this shape originally, it became Stratty shaped later in its life. But the MFD pickups are, you said, um, a more expensive version, more harmonic uh, something. A richer, weren't they? Oh, richness, more yeah. harmonic richness. It's a Strat. So to be totally honest with you, um, other than we want to avoid uh, any trademark uh, infringement. It's obviously not a Strat. Well, we won't. We're not bringing uh, it to market. Well, that's true. And it is Leo, and it's a Strat. So, so I mean, there you go. It's a GNL. It's so type. you're absolutely right. The magnetic, the MFD pickups are basically fatter, bigger. Well, I like suppose, I more before, harmonically we, rich. That motherfucker dense. dense. Uh, um, how much does that cost? About five hundred pounds. So right. that is about. It's. I think these are what four twenty. So it's something. It's in the same ballpark, isn't it? Uh, right, the third guitar, which I was hoping would be the first one to catch you out, was in fact a Les Paul, but with the uh, humbuckers in the tapped position. Oh, tap. Uh, not split, they were tapped. Um, Perhaps because you can choose. You can choose on this. Perhaps it would have been closer to split them, but whatever. And you said it's a tapped set of humbuckers on a Les Paul. Oh, I even used which, the right term. It was, in fact, a tapped set of humbuckers on a Les Paul. Well done. Would Rob. you, Adam and Steve? It? Uh, okay, the next one was your favourite oh, one. Oh, yeah. Gimme. So this is the uh, ASAT Special. Can I plug it in? Uh, of course you can. This. Uh, this is the original form that the GNL introduced the ASAT in, so anything, any other variants of the ASAT that you see come later. And these had the jumbo uh, magnetic field design pickups on them. Now you said... Yeah, these sound great. Uh, you said something, where did you say? High power P90s, which mm, they, I suppose they are a bit. Well, they're not, uh, they're not P90s. And it's the best sounding so far. But they are high powered or fatter sounding Give me that single coils. you using. Give me the more on the on a day, yeah. So this, uh, this is about the same price again as the classic vibe guitars. Really? Yeah, four fifty something like that. Unless, of course, you want the American version of that, which you can absolutely do, which would be about twelve. Give me the, uh, give me the plimsoll. <laughs> Oh, 
You know what it feels like? What does it feel like, Rob? Uh, sir. Mm, does it really? Yeah, it really does. Blimey. Uh, well, so that's that. Yes, sir. Uh, the next one... Wait, how much does that cost? 450 I think, ish, something like that. Clock. <laughs> the next one, which was uh, which was the sort of the the the, the jangliest uh. one, and you said sounds like a castrated strap. I honestly couldn't think of a better description um, if you gave me a hundred years right. and infinite numbers of biros. I'm really and paper. sorry, Fender. It did sound like a castrate. I love, but the it, look. it kind of is supposed to. It's it's just jangly and. Jangly and a bit mute, you know. Like the, I don't think there's as much sustain in a jazz in a Jaguar. Just there. Oh right, yeah. I was gonna... uh, I, you know, I've never been a gigantic fan of the tone of these guitars. I think they look cool. Ironically, the spec says um, that these are what are called high-powered. Um, where are we at? High power Jaguar single coil pickups. And they're anything but high powered. If you want those to work, it's upwards. And then you have to turn them up. Oh, that's the wrong way for up as well. I don't like it. Anyway, no, but there we go. But lots of people do, and it's one of those arguments you don't want to get into because the old Jaguar and Jazz oh. Master fans are a, they're a devilish bunch. I'll get into it. Um, and then the last one is the blue one, uh, which. Uh, is indeed a Les Paul Classic with P90s on it, and you said it's a fat P90. You just said they're P90s. I wondered if the neck was wound up too high, but it's not. No, it's not. No, I it's think not. it's just on that particular guitar, it just is fat on the neck, isn't it? It really is fat. Dirty? Yeah, dirt dating me. but I'm not so keen on the neck position. But hey, it, this wasn't necessarily about what you liked and what you didn't like. Always it was about more, what I liked. It was more about what you, <laughs> you know, what you could spot. And yet again, your ears deserve to be inducted into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think. Just your ears, nothing else about I mean, you. that would be the weirdest thing a pair of ears. to happen to a human being. I think but be awesome. I, I accept the honour. Thank you, Lee. Could you donate your ears to medical science when you die, maybe? I, yes. What a great idea. So there we go. Um, what did we prove? That you Wait. can tell the difference between lots of different sounding... Oh, hang on! I totally missed one out! You did miss You're one You're totally out. right! And this I totally is went... the really strange in between -y sounding... <laughs> I cocked that up. I've missed that because my writing's so bad. So this uh, is the GNL Comanche, which as you guys have probably been shouting at the screen for the last two minutes, was the penultimate one that we did, which you said was unique and human voiced and rich single coils. What does this do then? You know like Fender's S1 switch, so you just get different variants of the combinations. It's right. kind of like that. Okay. Uh, the other give, thing that give me I, Dane plus boost. The other, the other thing that I omitted to mention in a previous GNL video, which lots of people shouted me at, was despite the fact that they still use knobs with tone written on them, they are in fact a treble and bass circuit. Ooh. So the, the first, the nearest you does treble and the furthest one away does uh, boost. So Z coils in here are single coil pickups, but um, they're split to be hum cancelling.
one. Uh, again, we splashed out a bit on that one. I don't know if they do a tribute version of the Comanche. Actually, no, I think they do. But this, we we pulled out uh, the American one, so this will be a little bit more expensive. It this really one. goes. Take take off the. Uh, what do you want? Off. Take off the plimsoll. Okay, put on the plimsoll and take off the boost. Open. Uh, more drive. It's really good. It's just really interesting sounding. And it's so fascinating that it doesn't hurt. Yeah. That is a ton of games. Yep, yep, yep. So that's the guess the idea. So there you are. Apologies for missing the Comanche out at the end there. Um, what I mean, did do you still is this still your favorite or are you torn now? Uh, what I'd love is a guitar with that in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. Oh, like an HSS version of a Comanche. Yeah, you might not have the space to do that. They'd be so butted. What up do you together, call these you? pickups then? Z coil. Z -coil. Or Z coil, depending on uh, if you're into. It's like would would the old black and depending white on whether TV you're wrong Z or cars right. as opposed to Z cars. Just... Or when you learn the alphabet when you're a kid and you get to the last letter and you say Z and it's like now I know my ABC and it rhymes. Whereas if you're English and you go Z, it's like doesn't rhyme. So I don't know. I, I'm I'm in. Well, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no rhyme or reason about that. So I think when it I comes to overall, Zs, I prefer Z. Overall, that is my my favourite of the lot. The jumbo, um, <laughs> the jumbo MFD. Mm. Uh, but I'd be really interested to see that in the neck and then a, a nice fat. Oh, well, there you go, GNL. If you're watching, if you could produce that for Rob's next guitar, that on, would be uh, awesome. <laughs> um, on, on that guitar that I'm hoping no one buys. Oh, that blue. I think it, I think the reason it's being photographed is because someone wants it. But hey, I'm sorry internet world anyway there you go so comments below please if you played along how many did you get right uh and just generally what was your favorite sound uh, uh, what would you like to see next absolutely it with blindfolds obviously anyway i've been the captain i've been trappers Bye. see you later